What up everyone, it's your boy xmanny 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the Hasbro PulseCon 2021 exclusive Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man The Animated Series Venom Action Figure Review. Before I get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's go! This is what I've been waiting for, Venom on the Omega Red Body. It's so fitting and perfect but yet still has some imperfections on some features. I'll go over my gripes as I move along and also what I love about it. One thing's for sure is that you can forget about that Venom on the Hyperion body mold because this is it right here. So let's take a look starting with the head sculpt. All right, so the head sculpt is phenomenal. I love everything about it until we get to right here, man. Oh, I can't stand that. He got shot in the eye, Brazzer style. Oh no, I don't know what it is, but I have the worst luck when it comes to Venom figures with the paint. I just run into the worst luck. It's either bad eye paint or bad spider logo, you know, it's just sloppy paint mishaps here and there. I think the only one I really got lucky with was the Monster Venom Deluxe, where the paint on that was pretty much perfect, at least compared to the other Venoms that I got. So, yeah, I'm still plagued by the Venom paint mishaps. Damn it, man. It looks like there was nothing wrong when I was inspecting through the package, but I guess the reflection of the plastic just fooled me. But the rest of it, it just looks so good. I really like the nose area right here. Well, he doesn't really have a nose, but, you know, uh, you get those, like, wrinkles, muscly veins and stuff going in between there. And uh, the eyes, man, the eyes they captured beautifully. I love it. You got the teeth, you got the tongue. The tongue looks pretty sick because it has like this texture to it and it looks pretty freaking cool. I like that. It would have been nice if they added some like green slime. That would have been really cool. And uh, you got the teeth looking good. You know, uh, it's just nice. I really like the way the shape of the eyes came out. Wrinkles on the back of the head, so that looks pretty cool. You got the cell shading, which you already know is the highlight of this figure because it's based off the animated series. So his right side is mainly highlighted with blue, with some red, and on the opposite side, it's reversed. And the worst highlight of this figure is, you already know, the holes. Yep, they kept them there. Uh, it sucks. Obviously, because it was meant for Omega Red, the shoulder pauldrons plugged in these holes, and for Warpath, the shoulder pads uh, plugged in here. But for Venom, we got nothing, and yeah, they didn't even bother to cover it. I know in one of the previous live streams, Dwight Stahl mentioned, yeah, I know the holes are there, but everyone wanted a Venom figure on the Omega Red body, so here you go. And I'm just like, mm. yeah, they got to come up with another replica of this body mold without the holes in that because it just looks god awful. But personally, in my opinion, I think this figure was meant to be left mint on card because you look at the retro packaging here because I got an extra one. You can see the plastic border kind of presses on those shoulders, kind of hides it, you know, you can't tell like this. So I, you know, I don't want you to think I'm defending the choice because uh, I'm not. I'm just pointing out one thing, what I think it's meant for. But, you know, for us that open the figures, this is just, it's grossly inexcusable. <laughs> Hopefully whenever they reissue this Venom without the cell shading, they cover these holes or... Like I mentioned before, they come out with these like tendrils that can, you know, plug in here and you can have a nice tendril effect because that would make sense. But they even did it before with one of their previous figures, I believe. Yeah, actually the Monster Venom Bath had it, but it plugs into the back. But, you know, you could have something similar like this. All right, so this somewhat covers it, you know, at the top. You know, it's hard to tell because with all the tendrils around it. On the side, you're going to get that uh, peg sticking out like that. But, you know, this is an option for you. If uh, it's really bothering you, you can cover it like so. And this actually looks pretty cool. Reminds me of the animation in the show when the symbiote would cover Eddie Brock's face. One thing I will say is that the Venom logo came out tough. There's some slight texture to it. But overall, I feel like it's almost sculpted on too. It's kind of hard to describe it right now without feeling it in your hands, but yeah, this feels really, really nice. So I'm happy with the way this came out. Just got a slight paint mishap right there on the bottom. And then on the back, you get the Venom logo as well. So it's a lot more uh, narrow. And I will say that I understand because we would have ran into the same issue that the Symbio Spider-Man had. 
and uh, that's with the paint being on the butterfly joints and it just looked off it looked so weird looked like when you extended them out inwards like so it just looked like the spider was growing out wings or something like that I don't know it, it was very off-putting so uh, if they just kept the logo here and not have this you know would have been so much better so i like this why break up the nice paint job right here you know they did a nice job it's whatever kind of technology they use here i feel like it's printed technology actually i'm really digging this printed feel right here i'm with it and we get new forearm pieces here so they look like the webbed veins from the animated series and they look really good i like the way they came out the only thing it's not painted uh, i think it should have been painted because in the animated series it was definitely colored in so would have been nice if this side had blue and you know this side has some red it would have definitely make it blend in with the rest of the cell shading pattern and for these opened hands they are the same as the monster venom hands just scaled down a bit so as you can see it was a good choice to scale these hands down i definitely dig it and as you can see the hands are keeping up with the pattern so this one has blue this one has red and another cool thing about these hands, well, at least this hand right here, is you could take the web slinging effect accessory from one of the previous Spider-Man figures, and this loop right here, you can actually take these three fingers and hook it inside the loop. Now you can make it look like he's web slinging, shooting the webs from his hands. He had white webbing and black webbing. I prefer his webbing color to be black since the symbiote produces the webbing from its own mass. Would have been cool to see this accessory in black, but again, just my preference and for the rest of the legs you get more of that cell shading and as you can see you get the reverse color pattern so blue on the outside red on the inside here then you get red on the outside blue on the inside so they even painted a little bit on the knees the calves the shoes sorry if i'm quiet y'all i'm just admiring this cell shading it's so nice the only thing is uh, on the back very little cell shading so you only get it in about top of the neck, uh, the triceps, and the back of the thighs. That's it. I just wish they balanced it out a little bit more. Maybe adding some to the butterfly joints like they did in the front. And maybe somewhere on the lower back and on the back of the calves here. Then the bottom of the feet. Got the serial number there. Whoa, hold up. Why does this look blue? Hold on a second. Is the plastic blue or black? I'm colorblind, y'all. Y'all gotta help me out. I'm seriously, I'm like legally colorblind. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, it kind of looks blue almost. With a, maybe black with a blue hint? Maybe it's just the feet and the lower legs. I don't know. I may be tripping, but... There's your Venom. Now let's take a look at accessories. <laughs> that always cracked me up when he made that sound in the animated series. <laughs> yeah, it had a really cool voice. And anytime I read the comics, that's the voice that's in my head. Yeah, and sometimes he would just sound goofy like, Ashley! <laughs> that was just funny, and this face kind of reminds me a little of that. Because at some angles, he looks a little concerned, a little worried, like right there. So I really like how that tongue is trolled in the mouth. That is really cool. Didn't have that in a Venom figure where, like, the tongue is actually in the mouth. We're always getting it where it's just hanging out his mouth. He's looking at it around. Oh, yeah, definitely seeing a hint of blue on the head here. So, yeah, maybe there's some areas that are highlighted blue. My lights are picking it up now. I will say I think this head is a little on the bigger side, at least for this depiction of Venom. Because I remember in the animated series, his head always looked a lot smaller than the rest of his body. He had a very big, massive body and probably wouldn't translate well if they went for that. It probably would have looked off. I think this head actually goes with the body perfectly. And luckily, no paint mishaps on this head for me, so I am happy about that. Lastly, he comes with two closed fists, and these are not reused from Warpaths. These are totally brand new. So you can see the hand is much bigger, more veinier, and you can see that this Warpath has a regular thumbnail, whereas Venom has a claw. So these are a neat touch. I'm glad they made these unique for Venom. So I want to show you guys something beautiful here. And as a photographer, the cell shading, this is one thing that was calling to me. So with the one side being blue, the other being red, I have a blue light bulb on this side, a red light bulb on this side. And just look how it's freaking capturing the light. It's so freaking amazing. The cell shading shines 
best when using a blue and red light bulb. Like, it really looks like he's popping out of the animated series right now. It looks absolutely stunning, man. I just wish I had a pair of 3D glasses on to see how this would really come out. But no, for real, it is amazing. I know some of y'all are not into the cell shading, but you know, there's always something for everyone. And this is just one of those things that is for me as a photographer. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is actually the hands don't have the web patches on them. The other hands don't have them as well, so I'm gonna have to deduct half a point for inaccuracy there. Now to cover articulation for Venom, his head moves about that far up and that far down, left, right, and the head does have a tendency to pop off, so I'll give you guys a heads up on that. It can be slightly annoying. His arms move about that far up, so slightly higher than a T-pose. It moves down. They rotate all around. You got the butterfly joints that move forward that much and back that far. You got the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist swivel, wrist hinge, ab crunch that moves that far forward and that far back. You got a waist swivel. Legs move that far apart. They kick up that high, kick that far back. And then the legs rock around. You got the thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and also close but no heel to the symbiote butt. <laughs> and that's how he says it in the show, like a New Yorker. Ankles move up that far, down that low, and they rock all around. Now for some comparisons. Here is our new Venom next to the Monster Venom Bath Wave Venom on the Hyperion mold. No contest here. The new Venom is far superior, even with its flaws. Here he is next to the Venom movie figure and the Eddie Brock Monster Venom Deluxe. Here is Venom next to those that share the same body buck, Omega Red and Warpath. Here we have him next to some civilians. We have J. Jonah Jameson and a Kit Bash Mary Jane Watson. I think a comic civilian Eddie Brock is long overdue. Here he is next to the Spider-Man PS4 Advanced Suit. Can't wait for the sequel with Venom. Extremely hyped for that. You know I'll be over that PS5 Venom figure when it drops. Here he is next to the Sandman Build-A-Figure Wave Symbiote Spider-Man. Lastly, here he is next to the Retro Series Superposable Spider-Man. The scaling here is exactly what I wanted. It's perfect for me. All right, and now to wrap things up, my final rating is an eight out of 10. Despite some cosmetic flaws, there's no doubt that this is the most fun Legends Venom to pose. Good selection of accessories as I'll always take extra heads and hands as that's what makes the figure, like the homie book says. What it comes down to is the presentation as it's based off and packaged on the Spider-Man the Animated Series retro card. Being the first cell shaded figure in the line definitely sets the tone for the upcoming X-Men the Animated Series line. It's executed well. For those mad at the cell shading on this, just chill out because you know we're going to get one without it on this body. I understand it does leave us desiring a classic comic version more, but when we do get it, boy, it's going to be one hell of a treat. This one is definitely meant for the mint on card collectors. I don't think it should have been priced at $31.99 retail, but that's a whole lot better to pay than the $80 plus it's going for on the aftermarket at the moment. To me, this is just a teaser for when we get the comic version, but I'm glad to see Hasbro listen to the fans as we wanted Venom on this body. And I'd like to see that comic version offered as a deluxe with loads of accessories. Classic Spider-Man and Venom both deserve the deluxe treatment. Now I kick it back to you. What do you think of this Spider-Man the Animated Series Venom? Who would you like to see next on the retro card? Carnage should be around the corner after this Venom. Comment below, let me know, we'll chat about it. That was my review, please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, link is in the description below. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my latest videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new, enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review, peace, peace. Thank you.